Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be giving you a quick demo, a quick instructions how you can install SSL or secure socket layer certificates in Apache Linux servers. The process is pretty simple. What you need to, just need to do is you need to install basically three keys to a server so that they can communicate properly between two devices. Um, and today we'll be giving you a quick demo for Apache servers only running on CentOS 7 though it works for CentOS 6 as well though for Nginx it's a bit different though I'll be installing a new video for that one very soon so what is SSL? actually SSL is nothing but a secure socket layer which will be providing you an end-to-end encryption between two uh, devices that's between your server and your PC or your browser so it just provides a secure connections between the open internet so it just encrypts everything that you send to your server and it's much secure compared to any of default ones if you see the difference between these two websites if you see in Google you can see a green lock here which means it's running in secure connection though if in my in my website if you can see there is nothing there so what you can see is just a naked or let's a uh, site that's got no security as well at, at all so it just shows that your connection to this site is not secure at all so that's the basic difference between SSL and without SSL so to start what you just need to do is um, you just need to log into your server using SSS if you don't know how to use SSS you should be watching my previous videos or what you can do is you can just um, or I will just be installing or I will just giving you a quick uh, link to go to that video and to that um, website as well to know how to run SSH so let's begin um, like like I've said I will be installing I'll be first logging in to my server and I'm running CentOS 7 and it's running in uh, AWS Sydney server so it's pretty fast from my home because I live in Sydney as well so once you're here if you know if you are familiar with CentOS or let's say if you're familiar with CentOS running in AWS it just allows you to log in as a CentOS as a user not by root by default so once you're here just log in as a root now what I would suggest you to do is uh, you should be making a folder called certs or let's say certificate so that you can actually store whatever you need there so what I'll be doing is I'll be going to etc.stpd and make a folder called certs go there and make a um, folder again and let's name it SSL keys now you should be here uh, okay now you're here there is no files so like I have said we you just need some some files or certificates to actually make it secure so what you will be doing is you will be creating a CSR or let's say certificate signing request file from the server itself which you will be sending that one to your SSL provider that can be GoDaddy or that can be Symantec or RapidApp SSL, Komodo, whatever you can afford or whatever you want to buy. So uh, what they will be providing you is two files known as uh, uh, let's say our server certificate and one will be uh, certificate authority or also known as CA certificate so these are the two files that you'll be getting back once you send that CSR files though while you are creating CSR file you will be creating a private key as well so basically your private key and that will be communicating with your two keys that you got from the SSL provider that's your certificate and CA key 
So these are the three things that will be playing the role for the handshake between your server and your client or that's your browser so that's how you get a secure connection so I'll be giving you a quick uh, tutorial how you can do that one so what you got to do is I'm assuming you are you have installed open SSR else you just can do this one I'm just making sure that okay so I've already installed the open SSL there so you can install if you haven't done it else installed so uh, use open SSL this you'll be requesting a new new key of RSA 2048 nodes mm, key out should be okay Sanjeev dot info uh, dot um, CSR and there should be one more okay out one more let's say okay sanjeev dot info dot csr i'm so sorry a key out should be dot key that's the that's the private key that i was saying to you so open ssl request new key with rsa 2048 dash nodes that's key out Mm, sanjeevinfo.key that I will be out to giving CSR so now you just need to put on some of your details let's say country code give you a country code full name of a state can you South Wales then default Sydney Sydney company name Nothing, organization unit, okay, IT, server name, hmm. You can just give your domain name itself, add email address, blah, okay. Contact, as a with Sanjeev. Info, you can just put any of your domains. If you want to put an extra security, like password, you can put. I normally don't put one. So once you are done, if you do ls, you should be getting you should be getting these two files here. If you see it, it's a CSR file. Now what you gotta do is okay, before do that one, just make sure you just give them uh, 700 as its permission. Sorry. What it will be giving you is it will be giving only access to your user itself, not any of any others. So once you have this one, now let's um, open your CSR file. Okay, these are the files that you need to copy. And make sure you just paste this one. Uh, to your SSL providers so once you paste this one they will be retri retrieving your data from here from your key then they will be providing two servers I'm assuming that uh, you know that process and you should be getting that files here so now once that's done if you see there is one more uh, file known as on info.key that's the private key that I was talking about so now Let's say I will just assume you have all the keys now. So what you gotta do is, okay, just uh, go to your full home folder. Okay, assume that you got these two two keys that you got from your SSL providers. Um, so it's shinejeev.info.crt and that's the certificate file that you'll be getting in and next one is sanjeev.info.ca.crt so just make sure where you are located so etc so you are here okay this is your location so make sure you copy this location here because that's where you'll be pasting your those keys that you saw online so earlier 
in the root one if these are the keys that you need to send as you can see these are the two files that you got from SSL providers one is CA certificate and one is your server certificate now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy these two files okay let's just copy everything starting with ng2 this folder right okay now what you gotta do is once you have copied that one what you can check mm. okay as you can see these are the two files that we just copied right now this one is CSR that we use to generate the certificates and this is the private key that we'll be using so basically that's what you need uh, now you just uh, make sure you just know the directory where you have saved that one now what you gotta do is now okay before do that one just make sure you have installed more than SSL so uh, mode underscore SSL is what you need to make sure that you have installed that one so what you gotta do you just need to go to ATC again STPD and you should see a folder called conf.t uh, if you don't know how it's done you should be watching how to do how to make sure you install your websites in your uh, patch server so I'm assuming that you have done everything and that's the folder or that's the directory where you have installed all of your websites so there should be you should be getting you should see a um a file called ssl.conf so what you gotta do is just make sure you just open that conf file and please 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 read it carefully this is the line that you need to paste here so if you see here this is uh the ssl uses port number 443 so basically uh, that's what it need to do you just need to mention the port number 443 and make sure it opens and listens to all the requests coming in so you just need to mention your document root where it's located your server name your server allies then make sure you just put that SSL engine on and uh, all are same and please 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 know this line where it's SSL certificate file that's the file that's the certificate that you got from your SSL provider and there's SSL key file that that was generated along with uh, your CSR file and see the directory it's same it's the same place where we pasted it and one more file it's certificate file that you got along with your server certificate from your SSL provider and once you do that just make sure you just write you just make sure you just copy and just quit or it's a write and quit now just need to restart your Apache server ah, stpd.service so now it's restarted you can easily say like this you should say it started see starting down and restart it's so sttpd is working fine or there are other ways to do that one there are many many ways to do that one status uh, stpd load service this is another way to know what's the status of your stpd so active it's running perfectly so we already started 25 minutes to seconds ago that means your sctv server or this apache server is running perfectly so let's check if your website is ready or not now by default the, it's running an stpp if you just check um, okay if you just check it there is nothing now let's try SCPS. Now just put in that one. Boom. Now you should be saying a secure connection here. 
now you see this is the perfect way or easiest way that you can do to install SSL keys or SSL certificate to your website so that's all for now if you need these codes or else if you need these command lines that I, I will be putting your link to go to our website and just copy from there and use to your website that's all for now guys if you just like my videos just give a like and subscribe if you want to keep on watching my further videos that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.